Spoilers, 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 spoilers. For the Frog Show Season 7, you know what video this is. I got everything here, I'm right here. It's Frog's Master Gen, it's not one of the Frog Show characters. So you know that this is a talking about the Frog Show video. Because it is, it's talking about the Frog Show Season 7. As you can see in the title when you click into the video, I keep... I keep saying those things about how, about how you see the title from the video, and then I say the thing anyway. That's always fun. Really, really, really is. But we're talking about the Frog Show Season 7. That's why I did the spoilers thing. Okay. So, obviously with Season 7 being done, it makes everyone happy. Do you get the joke or do you not get the joke? Okay, 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 I'll stop. But you know what? Sometimes it doesn't matter if if a series of something isn't so popular. Sometimes it matters more as if it's a great mate, and it is. That's why this goes on. Okay, so the Frog Show Season 7, as we knew from Season 6, Skyborg was defeated, and Maybell was like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, and that was it. Okay. Yeah, Season 6, spoilers in there too. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So Season 7. It starts off with a good old backstory on Sweetness here, which was known as Sweet Home Alabama back then, with his two... Parents, which were both guys, yeah, both the throat hogs. Unique twist there with the, with the thing, yeah, okay. And there were more episodes that had his backstory with just him and like he wanted to be with Maybell. This whole love thing, I finally did. Yeah, this was supposed to be done in season three, so isn't that nice to see that it's finally here, here now? Yeah, it's great, it's cool, finally happened. So there's other episodes with him, sweetness. Just him and his parents, too. But, yeah, it was that. In the first episode, season seven, was with him. The whole Maybell thing. Wants, wants to be with Maybell and his tattoo and all that good stuff. But, next, the, the, the main course here, okay? Let me just say that season seven's a different season. Is Well, for the few people that did see it. You know, it is different. It is. I'm guessing that the the few views that they do get, and from, like, the ones from the other seasons besides season one and some of season two, I'm guessing it's the same people that have really came to look at the others. That's what I would think. When it's my normal videos, I, I easily am able to tell. It's just, it's anyone, but at least anyone that's in the Chemi community. But when it's the frog shows, I'm guessing it's the same. It's the same people. Yeah. Season 7 different. I'm sure if you have you guessed that. Just just with our villain here. Because in the second episode you get Dr. Guy and he's got his three minions. Pony Boy, Purple, and Commander J. That, that was their names. And, you know, they were there being minions and such. Not really doing too much, though. And Dr. Guy just being himself. You know, he's one of those bad guys. Not really the smartest, but... Keeps trying to do something, doesn't work. It's like that for a lot of the episodes, of a good amount of them. Like, I'd say probably not 40 of the 50, but it's definitely about, and it's over 30. It's, so it's more than half of the season. It's, it's probably like in the mid-30s, since there's 50 episodes in each season. Yeah, it's probably like 37 Episodes with Dr. Guy. That's what I'm guessing. You know, Dr. Guy. Yeah. Looks like a villain, doesn't he? But, uh, I remember when I said in the Talking About the Frog Show Season 5, I said Count Arch was probably my favorite. I don't know if he was my favorite. Uh, he probably comes close. Maybe he is my favorite. I, I really don't know. He probably still isn't, but still. He's pretty good. Okay, he's pretty good. Yeah. So, we had a lot of the episodes where I just kept trying out plans, but 
just one of these guys or made oh you know someone maybe there's a few where they do it all together they just stop dr guy's plan eventually dr guy gets some other minions so there were like nine others that were added they had about 10 episodes i'd say maybe 11 i think it was maybe it was nine or eight but i think it was like 10 i think it was exactly 10 and actually probably a bit more really well so they were there those other nine and they eventually they were killed right here maybe i'll did it yes that's cool and then they were gone because they were killed eventually and then it was back to just dr guy and his three other minions and he did a couple other plans you know he, he did a couple more just a couple just a couple more and yeah now, before we talk about his last couple plans here, before we talk about those, before we do, nothing with these guys, no. Well, some with him after this, but down over there, you have, you, you see, you see up, that's a teaser for something, guys, yeah, that's, that's a teaser, you see, it's a teaser, guys, it's, it's a teaser for a thing right there, you see that, yep, that's a teaser. But we're talking about Twiggy, though. You know, Achy Breaky Heart Frog, Dandy. Twiggy over there. I just have him over there because here's why. First thing I'll say, there was a little backstory with him. He was a hunter. And again, the Jeremy item right there, that deer and the guy that, yeah, them. He was like his little, little like teacher or something you could say. Not really, though, since he only had like one episode for Twiggy's backstory there. But, you know, he was there and stuff. You know, he was there and stuff. That's always nice, right? He was there and stuff. And, yeah, it's just Twiggy backstory kind of brought into the whole Lilo La thing again with him killing Lilo La's mom and all this, with, you know, with the rifle, with the rifle. But then, not really. But hunting and stuff and Twiggy... And Twiggy realizing hunting's not really the thing. And then, yeah, then he mentions just in his backstory that he sang. I didn't actually make him do it. It's not a musical, so it doesn't happen. It's different from season six. So, yeah, it's for the backstory. Here's something else with Twiggy. We'll just go on right to the end, only because I want to just mention it now. He deed. He deed. He deed. He deed. He deed. It was him. Yes, and it was different from the other deaths. I didn't want to do it again where it took like 10 minutes for it to get through the whole thing. And it just went on and went on and it went on and it went on. So I summed it more to two minutes. Yeah, it's a big cut. I don't, I don't even think it was two. So it was, a, it was a big it was a big thing there of a cut. But Twiggy died. And Mabel was a little more good with it this time. She... Stayed on the whole thing, which is dealing with the Dr. Guy stuff. And Triggered, yeah, he he was even able to do it, which you look at that. But you'll see the whole thing with him. Season 8, uh, uh, one time, January or something, yeah. So Twiggy died, okay. And he told Maybell right before his death to, to be something. He wasn't kind of thing, that kind of thing. I don't need to explain it. Yeah. And then also, eventually, Twiggy's little teacher before Twiggy died just in a middle episode he came back and there were other citizens that you know came in because the new the new stuff that I got not really the new but the stuff that hadn't been in season six of the prog show you know that that stuff I don't need to say which ones it's just the newer stuff that's the only thing you guys haven't seen that was in season seven of the frog show it was him see not many people watch the Frog Show, so not many people know, even though he's been in a few episodes, not many people know that he is here. But a few do. But there'll be an upload of him tomorrow. Ooh, look, I said it. I said it. Yeah. Yeah, what were we talking about again? Oh, yeah, the, the Twiggy's teacher came here. Okay. Now for the Sweetness and Maybell part, where they get together. Sweetness wants to do a date thing, doesn't really start off well. Then it starts getting better, and then there's a song, I used Africa, 
and a couple other songs too before it. Don't need to mention them. And eventually their thing just starts going well. They bond. They talk about their things. Mabel talks about how she doesn't think the citizens are the best. So that's a bit of an intriguing thing here now, isn't it? She's evil. Okay, no. I don't think a face like that could even be. Alright. So the whole thing happened, and then they become boyfriend and girlfriend. Whoa! Man, that's so cool. Okay. Now that that... I said that. Dr. Guy's two last plans. So we did a romantic plan after these two came back because they were having their whole date thing in the pretty room, as all these guys usually call it. They come back, Dr. Guy's two other plans. He has his romantic plan. He gets his three other minions to help him for the one, and they try to win over, like, Maybell, Sweetness. Of course it doesn't work. His plan fails. Then he, Dr. Guy comes up with his final plan for the next episode, and the Booger Frogs here. Let me get him. And this too. It's the Booger Frogs. Yeah, do you guys remember the Booger Frogs? I, most of you probably don't, but it was something. I know some of you can recall it. If you saw the episode, which is titled The Frog Show, episode 345, his final plan. If you see the Booger Frogs, maybe you'll start to remember him. Especially with one of the iconic things he did. I'll just give you a hint. Maybe that'll make you remember. I I don't know. Okay, you don't want to see the booger frogs. You get it. Because he's an old thing. But yeah, booger frogs. He showed up. I just had to do that. I think that'd be good for his final plan. And it worked better, but it still failed. Because Sootiness helped up, helped up on the action here to help. Because boyfriend and girlfriend, he's supportive now and stuff. Wow, that, that's so cool and original. Okay, no. It's good, everyone. It's good. So then what happens? Well, Dr. Guy's three other minions get their little pasts, and it kind of relates to how, you know, they'd be all evil and stuff. So, you know, Pony Boy has one, and Commander J has one, and they're just, you know, backstories. Kind of sad. Well, I don't know. Really, but, but Purple, which is the Purple Bunny, him. Dr. Guy's one of his minions. He has his little backstory where he's just dead over there. And if you remember way back from the Frog Show Season 1, and that one's the one that's the most successful. I know, it's crazy. But remember, King Pig actually killed Purple Bunny? Yeah, that was Purple. That was him, and it related to Season 1. So Dr. Guy was there at the Season 1 times, and... You know, it's it's interesting, is it? Okay, no, it's not. I know, but I had... This is talking about the Frog Show. Season 7, so of course... I have to, but yeah, that's the whole thing with purple. But then after the past things, it's time for the battles. And in the battles, you know, they fight purple, they fight Pony Boy, they fight Commander J. They all get killed, of course. I mean, of course, they all end up doing it. Yay! Some get hurt. Yay! But then they come back. Yay! Then it's time for the battle of Dr. Guy. They fight and stuff. And then Sweetness keeps getting in front of Mabel. I did that, that thing that the thing that the movies do sometimes shows yeah except i made him do it three times that means he's that means he's really really he's a really good boyfriend okay so that happens and then that's around the part well right before that's really the part where twiggy ends up dying because of dr guy i mean obviously it's because of dr guy he takes the power out of twiggy's guitar Hey, this one's not going to be as long as the others. That's cool, right? Oh my goodness, it's so cool. Talking about the frog shows are always so long, but I'm making it more long now, so I'll stop. So, they fight a little bit more. Maybell's ready to beam him and get rid of him, just like she did with the other three battles. You know, of his minions. She beamed him. That's how they died. And yes, only four boss battles this season. Wow, that's not a lot. Not a lot, but... And they're all four, right? The last four episodes. That's... That's crazy. It's like season four. Except there were like, there was one episode after four of them and then a final battle. Yeah, but Maybelle's ready to beam him, but then she thinks about it. Even though Dr. Guy killed Twiggy, she thinks about it. He looks at Maybelle. It's not a romantic thing. And then they go through this whole talk. Why are you evil? Dr. Guy says, because it's fun. 
That, that's not a joke. That's why he thinks it's fun. Maybell says that there's something else that can be more fun than that. And it's being one of them. And then Dr. Guy thinks about it. He goes, yay, joins, and, and they head off. Twiggy despawned. Triggered's trying to handle it. These three don't do anything. Four don't do anything. You have no purpose. You have no purpose. You have no purpose. You have no purpose to the season. That's that's a new record. Okay. No, they were supportive. and uh. Alright, that's the Frog Show Season 7. Oh, you're so glad it's done. I know. I know you are. That's why. That's why this talking one's not as long. But you know what? You know what? Y y I know you can't wait for season 8. And guess what? There's a teaser there. You saw it after, you know, they had their little happy song, Hurt So Good. That was the song they played. Ooh, it got copyright claim. What a surprise. You know, after they trailed off, Dr. Guy was in the little basket because they were all in the basket when they had to travel to that other room. That's where Dr. Guy's battle was. Yeah, but they were traveling out of the room after Dr. Guy turned good and everything. Since they all got in the basket, Dr. Guy went off with them in the basket, back to this room probably, or something like that. After that, you get the little, it, tra it transitions to a little thing with a person, a certain person, in the dark, no lights on. It's the mummy, and if you remember from season six, the little thing that happened... He's the one that was saying the yeah thing right at the end or whatever. That, that citizen choke that no one gets to what I'm talking about. One day you may know, but it's something with that. And the mummy's mad and he's he's just sitting up there and he's ready to... He, he's ready to just be prepared. He's just out there and the wind's blowing on him. I used fan. Whoa. That's cool that I used a fan. So those little mummy things were blown in the wind. He looked he looked like he was ready to start something, didn't he? Yeah. Then after that, it showed the King Pig and King Pig Dad stuff. That's the Frog Show Season 7. Everyone's so glad it's over. I know, it's... Yay! Clap. Everybody... Okay. If I mistook and did say something from the Frog Show Season 7 talk video, I... It won't matter, really. It's just a video. It, it doesn't get enough view. Okay. Hopefully we don't cancel it. Alright, that's the video. They're not gonna have being shown it. You, it zoomed in. Uh, zoom back to Frog's Master. Regular video. Okay, peace.